In this episode of Avenue, itutur namin kayo sa College of Law. We will also give you insights on plagiarism at marami pang NEU news and updates. So stay tuned as we take you for another walk here on Avenue. Avenue. And hello, NEU community! Bilang estudyante, minsan ay may tendency tayo na maging complacent and to settle for what's available. Pero syempre, hindi dapat maging ganito ang mindset ng isang NEU student. As we take new paths, we must always think and act anew. Kaya naman sa episode na ito ng Avenue, we will give you new insights on plagiarism to ponder upon. I am Ijim. And we will go beyond the gates of the NEU College of Law and what sets it apart from other universities. I am Kay. But before that, alamin natin ang mga NEU updates sa bago nating host na si AC. Hello everyone and hello NEU community. I am AC, a fourth year BA communication student and I'll be giving you the latest news and updates in and around the NEU campus. This is NEU Bulletin. Dulaang Asilaw, the official theater group of NEU, recently held their 45th anniversary celebration comeback show. Here's Kat for the details. After a few years of hiatus, New Era University's Dulaang Asilaw is finally back on stage. Showcasing the talents of NEU students in theater production, Dulaang Asilaw has conducted their 45th anniversary celebration comeback show with a play titled Escuela. The story focuses on the lives of students who continue to work hard to achieve their dreams. Yung Asilaw, from the two words, yung asin at ilaw, nang na ibig sabihin is to mold and to enlighten. Sa tulong po ng advisor namin, ng mga alumni na nag-guide din po sa amin, at lalong-lalo na po, syempre, ng patnubay po ng ama, napakinggan po yung araw-araw namin mga pagpapanata at nakapag-produce po kami ng isang um, production na hindi lang po para sa satisfaction ng mga mem members ng grupo, kundi syempre para din po sa mga esudyante at mga tao sa loob po ng New Era Union. It is truly delightful to see Dulaang Asilaw shine on stage once again. A graceful display of talent, portraying a story of resilience, of bouncing back despite the adversities that one may face in life. This is Kat for NEU Bulletin. In celebration of its 20th anniversary, the NEU Special Education presented a musical concert. Janika has the full details. The New Era University Special Education Program marked its 20th anniversary by staging its 10th musical concert. The heartfully entertaining and inspiring event was held at the state-of-the-art University Hall. The students, led by their teachers and coaches, rendered song and dance numbers to the delight of the audience, mainly composed of parents, guardians, and NEU students who were eager to witness the joyous occasion. Nung nagpe-perform po sila, po, nakakatawa lang, nakaka-touch po kasi alam po namin na talagang pinaghirapan po nila yung mga practice, especially the coaches and teachers. Masayang-masaya ako dun sa naging performance niya. Napakalaking improvement nung nakita namin. I've been here for 10 years. So every meron silang musical, talagang supportive ako. Lagi akong narito. So ngayon, upon seeing my son, talagang tuwan-tuwa ako at na-enjoy ko yung kanilang performance. Yung pagtatanghal, papakita po kung paano na-de-develop, na-train, natuturuan ang mga batang may special needs. Nakita nyo po yung mga nasa preschool, nasa kindergarten, hands-on pa ang kanilang coaches or shadow teachers. Pero pag tumataas na po ng grade level, nakikita na po natin unti-unti nang nag-fade yung coaches. Nasa background na lang, tumitingin, sumusubaybay. At yung bata na po mismo ang kumakanta, sumasayaw sa kanyang sarili. So nakikita po natin doon na natututo. As long as nandun yung tamang support, yung tamang pagtuturo ng mga teachers, ng mga magulang, ay natututunan ng bata yung skills na kanyang pinag-aaralan. Since its establishment in 2004, the NU SPED program has been serving as a beacon of hope for students with special needs and a partner to their families in not only providing essential education, but also instilling basic life skills, all anchored on Christian values. 
Ni-research ko talaga yung sped kung saan magta-thrive yung anak ko. I experienced the, the pro, his progress. So I'm very satisfied. So every time na may makikilala ako at nagtatanong, walang kagyat na pagsasabing, ah, sa special education ng New Era, ipasok mo anak ko. Dahil naroon yung anak ko at nakita ko yung kanyang progress. New Era University Special Education Program po ay nakarehistro at recognized ng Department of Education. So, ko anong grade level, uh, kinder, grade 1 hanggang grade 12 na po ang programa po ng Special Education Program. So, kung may mga katanungan po sila, pwede po silang mag-email uh, sa sped at neu.edu.ph o kaya tumawag po sila sa 8981-4221, local 3915 po. Para sa mga karagdagang katanungan po nila sa programa or mga requirements po sa pag enroll sa special education program po. With certainly more years ahead, the NEU SPED program will continue to embrace children with special needs, giving them support and belief as they reach for their dreams. I'm Janica for NEU Bulletin. The College of Engineering and Architecture at New Era University, spearheaded by the Association of Civil Engineering Students, hosted the first ever hard hat fitting ceremony with the theme, Stepping into the Future. The historic event was held at the University Hall and aims to recognize and celebrate the importance of on-the-job training, serving as a gateway to graduation. The ceremony involved the awarding of hard hats symbolizing the hard work, commitment, and accomplishment of the graduating engineering students. New Era University was recently visited by His Excellency Wang Xilian, the Ambassador of People's Republic of China to the Philippines. Alongside the Association for the Philippine-China Understanding, the Embassy of the People's Republic of China, New Era University, and the China Study Center organized the 11th Manila Forum held at the School of Management Building. The School of International Relations, China Study Center, who also celebrated their first anniversary, spearheaded the said forum. The event tackled the bilateral cooperation between China and the Philippines with strong emphasis on technology, manufacture, and innovation. Those are just glimpses of what's happening in our university. To know more updates about anything NEU, don't forget to follow our official social media pages. I'm AC for NEU Bulletin. Welcome to NEU College of Law. Uh, my pre-law course po was BS Accountancy. Uh, I graduated here at New Era University din po last December 2020. The reason po I took up that course was because I wanted to become a lawyer din po. So I truly appreciated the Christian values that New Era has given me and I believe that it helped me during my college years. So now I'm back here, I want to experience the same and become a good Christian lawyer. Ang daddy ko ay nag-aral din po ng law dito rin po sa New Era. So nung bata po ako, nakikita ko po siya na nag-aaral. So nung tumanda po ako, nagkaroon po ako ng idea kung paano po ang pag-aaral sa law school about New Era University College of Law is that our professors, they don't just go in the classroom, tell you to read this and that, but they do tell you if you're reading the right things, they do explain to you yung mga concepts that you really need so that you could become a good lawyer. I'm proud to be part of an institution who has a high passing rate in the bar examinations, and I'm hoping to be one of those students who will prove good bar examinations. I was a litigation lawyer before. I handled election cases, I handled civil law cases, criminal cases. The experiences that I've learned no, when I was uh, still in litigation, I shared them with my students. 
I share them true to life experiences. I always use as an example my own experiences while I am still in litigation and of course the you know the decisions decided by the Supreme Court. Practicing lawyer din kasi ako eh. So every time I practice in court, parang yung mga kliyente namin natuturuan. So why not magturo in the College of Law? Dito, mai-impart ko yung knowledge ko sa mga estudyante natin, lalong-lalo na sa mga gustong maging abogado. Since I am teaching review subjects, uh, ito ay iba doon sa mga first year, second year, third years. In the lower years kasi ang ginagawa namin ay recitations. But since this is a review, discussions na lang talaga siya. And then I give quizzes to make sure na yung mga napag-aralan nila in the past na-retain sa kanila. I prepare notes for them kasi maraming subjects ang hinahawakan nila eh. Makapagbigay ako ng kahit kaunting outline para sa mga subjects nila na ititake nila when they will be taking the bar exam. Kasi pagka hahayaan lang natin sila as our experience na mahirap talaga eh kung ikaw lang. Pero kung nariyang kami ng mga faculty members na tutulong sa kanila kahit pa paano, mabigyan natin sila ng guidance through notes. Uh, malaking tulong sa kanila yan. I am always telling my students that preparation for the bar exam do not start in their fourth year. It starts in their first year. Because first year, all first year subjects are the foundation. So ang dapat tandaan ng mga students, eh, anyone who would like to enroll in the College of Law is that it is very important na first year pa lang sila, magkaroon na sila ng good comprehension, understanding of law. Yung mga estudyante ko or unang mga nag-estudyante ko, nakita kong pumasa sila. Iba pala yung pakiramdam. Yung feeling mo ba, uh, parang gusto mo silang i-terrorize para ma-encourage sila na mag-aral. Pero iba yung ibinibigay mo sa kanila, finifeed mo sa kanila yung dapat nilang malaman. Tapos makikita mo doon sa listahan ng mga pumasa, nandun yung pangalan nila. Masaya, masaya. The College of Law here has its own legal clinic. It assists the students in preparation for their practice of law. The legal aid program po ng New Era University College of Law ay nagbibigay ng legal na serbisyo at tulong sa mga taong walang kakayahang kumuha ng sariling abogado. Ito rin po ang nangangasiwa sa Legal Aid Education Program ng kolehiyo kung saan ang mga estudyante po natin ay tinutulungan at ginagabayan ng mga volunteer lawyers upang mahasa sila at maging handa po sa practice of law. Upang makatulong rin sa mga kapatid natin may pangangailangan legal. Nakakapagbigay po kami ng tulong sa kanila sa papamagitan po ng Legal Aid. Bukas po ito sa lahat po ng mga nangangailangan ng tulong, kapatid man po o hindi, nandito po ang ating Legal Aid Clinic upang uh, maipagtanggol po kayo at bigyan po kayo ng serbisyong legal. Ang ako pumasok sa law school, ang panata ko na po ay magamit yung propesyong ipagkakaloob sa akin ng ama sa pagbibigay tulong po, hindi lamang sa mga kapatid, kundi po sa iglesia. Marami pong naitulong sa akin ang College of Law ng New Era University para po sa paghahanda ko sa bar examinations. Una po, ang New Era University College of Law ang nagbigay sa akin ng matatag na pundasyon sa mga kaalaman ko po sa batas upang maging ganap na handa po ako sa pagkuha ko ng bar examinations. Mula po first year hanggang sa makagraduate po ako, yung mga professor po namin wala silang sawa sa paggabay sa amin kung ano yung mga batas na dapat naming aralin at kung paano kami dapat sumagot sa bar exams. Yung batch po namin actually is the batch natin na maan nung pandemya. Kahit umuwi po kami sa kanya-kanya po naming probinsya, hindi po kami pinabayaan ng College of Law. Talaga pong minonitor nila kami. Talagang binibigyan po kami ng guidance, lalong-lalo na po spiritual guidance. Meron pong sinasagawa na pagpapanata ang school. Dito po ay pinapaalala sa amin kung para saan yung ginagawa namin. At binibigyan po kami ng mga payo kung paano namin malalagpasan ang mga pagsubok na aming kinakaharap sa pagkitake ng bar. Lalo pong lumakas yung loob namin, di po namin naramdaman na nag-iisa kami sapagkat nandiyan po ang ating college of law. Nagiging magaan po siya para sa amin dahil sa tulong ng mga pagpapanata doon po, nabibigyan po kami ng additional na lakas. 
naging ginap po kaming abogado at tuwang-tuwa po ang aking mabagulang. Yun po yung unang layunin ko po bilang anak. Mabigyan ng kasayahan ang aking magulang. Napasigaw po talaga ako sa tuwa nung nalaman ko na marami pong pumasa at isa na nga po ako doon. At agad ko pong binilang yung mga estudyante na nanggaling sa New Era University. At sobrang tuwang-tuwa po talaga ako na mataas po ang ating passing rate. Naging mabigat na pagsubok po ang paghahanda para po sa bar examinations. Pero sa awa at tulong po ng ama, pinalad po tayo na makasama sa mga exemplary bar passers. Ang aking guiding principle sa aking practice, ano, is godliness is the foundation of knowledge. Totoo po yun. Uh, sapagkat ang pagiging abogado po ay isang learner's profession. Natatangi po ang isang NU lawyer sapagkat dito po ay hinuhubog kami hindi lamang maging magaling na abogado. Hinuhubog po kami upang maging kristyanong abogado. Abogado po na tangan-tangan ang mga aral lang ng Diyos na binabahagi sa atin bilang Iglesia ng Cristo. Pinakilala po sa akin kung saan po talaga nanggagaling ang katalinuhan at karunungan. Kasi bago po natin ma-attain yung katalinuhan at karunungan, kailangan muna natin kilalanin kung saan ba ito nanggagaling. At yun po ang tinuro ng ating eskwelahan uh, na ang lahat ng katalinuhan at karunungan ay nanggagaling po sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Bukod sa talino, makikita sa mga NEU students and alumni ang puso at disiplina. Kaya naman nakaka-proud na maging parte ng NEU community. We're not just studying to graduate, we also value the discipline and camaraderie that we learn from the NEU community. Disiplina at pananampalataya, yan ang tatak NEU. Another unique culture here in NEU is its highest team of the truth. Kaya naman sa edisyong ito ng I Knew It, tinanong ni Kat si Atty. Randy Zarate about plagiarism. Today, we're tackling an issue that resonates with many students, plagiarism. And joining us to illuminate this critical topic is a member of the legal department of New Era University, a law professor, a mandatory continuing legal education, lecturing in ethics and alternative dispute resolution. Here we have attorney Randy Zarate. Thank you, Kat. Good day and thank you for having me in your program. Well, thank you as well, attorney Randy. It is an even bigger pleasure for us to have you here. Um, so to get us started, uh, could you kindly define plagiarism for us? Plagiarism is the act of claiming others' ideas, works, and concepts as your own. As an example, if a previously work has been published, you happen to read it, and sometime there is an opportunity for you to make another research or work, then you intentionally copy it without acknowledging that that is someone else's work that is plagiarism. But attorney, what if the act wasn't intentional? Um, for example, a student could think that the idea was their own, that it was original, only to discover that it wasn't. Is that still considered plagiarism? That is still considered plagiarism. Whether or not it is unintentional. The student probably did not work hard enough or did not read enough. It is also committed unintentionally when you fail to properly cite the previous work that uh, you are using in your assignments or your term papers. That's why it's important to read as many materials as possible and to be proficient in using your citation system. Thank you, attorney. So for the benefit of us as students, our audience, and of course, our viewers, how can we recognize if we're committing plagiarism? Are there different types? And could you please outline them for us? How do you recognize? It's up to you. Because you know when you are stealing the ideas, words, and concepts of others. There is another way to check whether or not your work is plagiarized. As you know, the Computer Services Department of New Era University employs plagiarism checker. So on matters which, uh, for example, term papers, theses, and other uh, works, uh, 
substantial uh, plagiarism will, will be detected. Uh, moreover, your teachers who are experts in their fields will easily detect if uh, the works you claim to be as your own is original or an original work by others. Somewhat related po to that, attorney, um, now we have the widespread of AI. We have it on our laptops, our desktops, and even on our mobile phones. With just a click or a few taps, AI is ready to assist us, even with writing academic papers. So does uh, using AI constitute uh, plagiarism. The use of AI per se or in itself is not plagiarism. But then as students, we should be accountable for the use of artificial intelligence. We should uh, likewise be transparent. If you use AI, you should be responsible on what the AI or pre-generative, uh, pre-trained text turns out because through ignorance of lack of awareness, we don't know whether that is already the ideas or the works of others. Number two, we have to be transparent. You have to cite, you have to admit or acknowledge that you used AI in your research work. And if possible, use AI which uh, cites the source. So what is important here is number one, transparency. Number two, accountability. So, attorney, um, let's dive in a little deeper. What makes plagiarism wrong? To explain it simply, plagiarism is an indication of lack of honesty and it is an indication of a sloppy work because if you're honest enough, you will admit that the idea you have stated in your work was the original idea of others. To prevent uh, plagiarism, to avoid it, you really have to work harder, read more, and uh, know how to cite. Sometimes when you commit plagiarism, you also infringe upon the copyrights of others. That's why we should really avoid plagiarism even while we are in school, because we don't know but we might also be violating the rights of others. Those tips are really helpful for us, Attorney Randy. And now, to further help us in understanding our topic, let's give a chance to our student audience who would also like to ask questions regarding plagiarism. Attorney, I have a question po. Um, as a student po that wants to be in the creative industry, we often uh, imitate po or take inspiration from other people work po. Is it considered plagiarism? To what degree are you inspired? You might get inspiration from another original work, but then you have to consider how substantive is your inspiration from that work. That inspiration is quote and unquote. Okay? If that inspiration you described earlier will amount to copying the entire work, that is no longer allowed. That is plagiarism and a probable infringement of a copyrighted work. It's also possible to seek permission, right? We, we, when we watch movies, we sometimes see at the acknowledgement part that that movie was inspired by a certain event. It's better that way than getting inspired, quote-unquote, from an original work. You want to be in the creative industries? Be creative yourself. So would you still consider AI plagiarism checkers as re reliable po, to use for academic purposes? Online academic checkers or plagiarism checkers so do not rely on the single instance of a supposed plagiarism. Uh, it relies on a cumulative basis. For example, if uh, based on the total work, 70% was considered by the platform as plagiarized, it's probable that you are already committing plagiarism. We cannot rely at all times with online platforms on plagiarism checkers. Sometimes they suffer from biases too. For example, language bias, language barriers. So we really have to work hard, paraphrase better, and cite at all times. When in doubt, cite. You work diligently, cite properly, there's no reason to be scared of uh, plagiarism checker. 
I would like to know po if New Era University has an education or prevention to avoid students to plagiarize po. From the start, uh, I think you have been briefed by your teachers on the rules involved when you cite the works of others, right? Since we are in a university, there is a bit leeway. You will be using the previous work in your current project. In an academic setting, you may use, but for academic purposes only and not for sale or commercial purposes. If you fail to cite or acknowledge that a portion of your output is not your original work, then you might be in serious trouble. You might be reprimanded, you might be warned, you might even receive a failing grade. So in an academic setting, you might be able to use the original works of others, but not for purposes of uh, commercial uh, reproduction. This conversation has been truly enlightening. And on this topic, Narinpo, is there a law, a specific law, that penalizes plagiarism? In the Philippines, we don't have a specific law which penalizes plagiarism. However, the same act of committing plagiarism may subject the person or the student committing it to copyright infringement, which is penalized under the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines as amended. So, attorney, also on that, what are the potential consequences for a student found guilty of plagiarism? When a student commits plagiarism under the New Era University Code of Discipline, you might face corrective measures or sanctions. When it's not serious enough, you might receive failing grades. If it's on very serious matters like in a research, term paper, or thesis, you might face more severe consequences. We are truly thankful for this discussion. And attorney, if you could give us students some advice on how to avoid plagiarism, what would the advice be? Of course, practice honesty, uh, integrity, and uh, whenever you use AI, be accountable for it, be transparent, and exercise caution when you're trying to cite the works of others. You can properly cite by following citation policy in the New Era University. As a default, we follow the APA, Manual of Citation. Other disciplines such as medicines, law, and engineering follow other modes of citation. When you endeavor on a research, term paper, or thesis, make sure to be proficient mm -hmm. in how you cite previous works. Thank you so much, attorney. Your insights have been truly invaluable. While plagiarism may seem like an easy shortcut, it's clear that the long-term repercussions far outweigh any perceived immediate benefits. Attorney Randy definitely knew it. Now, we all know it. Join me again next time for more interesting and meaningful discussions. This is Kat for I Knew It. From the tour of the College of Law to the very informative discussion on plagiarism, this episode really showed how much NE wants to create an environment conducive for learning that is anchored in Christian values. This also shows that NEU is a university that adapts to the challenges of society. And just like the university, the NEU community always thinks and acts anew. Again, this is Kay. And I am Ijim. Join us again next time as we take you for another walk here on... Avenue! Avenue.